Hello, I'm Ian Keenan from the website hitstories.net where you'll find my collection of interviews with the hitmakers of the 60s, 70s, 80s and beyond, including John Paul Young, one of the biggest names of Australian music in the 70s and early 80s. Lovers in the Air, of course, you'll remember, and songs like Yesterday's Hero, Pasadena. We talk about how there were three years between his first and second hits and why that was the case. We talk about the King of Pop Award and also a very famous item of John Paul Young clothing. And I never realised how much of a thing it was going to cause, you know. <laughs> it's now in a museum, isn't it? Well, it was. It's, it's now, it's now uh, back in my uh, safekeeping, but uh, oh, okay. yeah, it's been in a couple of museums. Yeah. yeah, you loaned it to the powerhouse, didn't you? That's Sydney? right, yeah. yes. And it's been to the Maritime Museum as well. Do you know the outfit we're talking about there? Well, you can find out from John Paul Young, direct from the horse's mouth now at hitstories.net. It's free to sign up and that gives you access to all the interviews and we're adding more all the time at hitstories.net.